Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, help us this day to understand and celebrate your dream for the world, to be transformed in Jesus' love, and to use our gifts to make a difference for others. Amen. In the name of God, creator, redeemer, and sanctifier. Amen. We have in our lessons today these wonderful imageries of the earth and creation and creatures being nourished. And Jesus is speaking in parables about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is like. I ask you for a moment to imagine the most spectacular places and sights you might have seen. Maybe in travels, time together with family. What came to mind for me is the Nepali coast on the island of Kauai in Hawaii and hiking there, climbing through the rich greenery, sights of water, trees, lusciousness. Surely, the kingdom of God is more spectacular than that. Or we think of cathedrals, maybe monasteries, high places, the cliffs of Moor in Ireland come to mind for me. What comes to mind for you? If you are home with family, maybe sharing with each other, pause for a moment. Those spectacular places, those spectacular times. And just like that moment in Isaiah where God so fills the temple and is so beyond the temple, that just the hem of God's robe can fit in. The kingdom of God is beyond imagining. And in the book of Ezekiel, the chapter shifts from God being like an eagle to being the twig of a cedar. Cedars were often used as imagery for great kingdoms. And the richness of nourishing and fruitfulness that comes around. Little note about Ezekiel is that he's one of the more interesting authors and complicated. He was known to be both a priest and a prophet which were thought to not be compatible. But he speaks of this promise of hope, the nourishment of God. And our psalm for today invites us into awe and gratitude. With song, I will give thanks. With hymns, I will give thanks. And doesn't that happen in abundance at St. Paul's? Jesus, in the parables, takes this in imagery and, as he often does, turns it upside down. The kingdom of God is like a sower, goes out, throws some seeds. You may recall the image of Van Gogh's, the sower, luminous, walking through the fields, mysterious. The sower in that parable does nothing more than scatter the seed, let the soil do its work, and reap the harvest. The kingdom of God is like getting to receive God's riches, not by earning, not by trying harder, 
by simply showing up and noticing. And when we think about those spectacular places, the next parable says the kingdom of God is like a teeny tiny mustard seed, not the cedars, but a mustard seed. And when it grows up, it shares. It goes so quickly and it feeds the birds around in abundance. One of the interesting notes about this gospel is that it is written in the time of probably around 70 of the Common Era, when the fall of the temple was happening, great unrest, great upheaval. And Mark, the writer of this gospel, shares Jesus' promise of hope an abundance of that abundance that comes and just like any seed that is planted sprouts in the time of creation not in our time but God's time and as we lean into our next steps together and as we lean into the next steps of our lives step by step maybe scattering seed about, wondering what the soil will do, will the drought affect it? Jesus says, God's abundance is offered graciously. In God's time, the kingdom of God is like entering a pandemic and still coming together as a community. The kingdom of God is showing up on Zoom meetings. The kingdom of God is coming together in person, in delight, and also in honoring the grief of what has changed. I love that these are our imagery in summertime. As things shift in our schedules, maybe hopes of travel or just more outdoor time. And the author, Kate Bowler, the author of Everything Happens, offers this prayer. Blessed are we coming into this summer of in-between. We are glad to shelter here a while where there can be some recovery from all that our eyes have seen and our hearts have borne. We are wondering what just happened. The tragedy on slow release, the shock of sudden outrage, the variance of unusual size, the sweet sense that normal maybe isn't obsolete. We are wondering what could happen. We are at a threshold, a season that holds liminal space for what was and what might be. God, gather us close in this small and cradled space May we let the whole weight of our very selves rest secure. Be the peace that settles our bodies, that we might awaken each day, curious as to what new thing you are doing, what beauty might yet be. Be the peace that settles our bodies, that we might awaken each day, curious as to what new thing God is doing, what beauty might yet be.
Amen.